Yo, what's going on, Jared Athletes? In today's video, I'm gonna be talking to you about how to lose 20 pounds fast, but safely and effectively. The reason I wanted to make this video is because around October, I got up to the highest weight that I've ever been at like 219 pounds since I've had JRD. So I wanted to talk about well, why did I get up to that weight in the first place? What got me there? And then what I had to do to get back down to the weight that I'm at now, about 195 pounds. So really this video should be titled like how to lose 25 or 30 pounds fast. But because weight fluctuates every single day, I'm just gonna say I probably lost a solid 20 actual pounds of body fat. So what was the reason for me gaining all that weight in the first place? Well, around October, I wasn't surfing as much and I burned a ton of calories surfing. I was still jumping rope, but I was traveling I was in Morocco and then I went to Spain and I was celebrating our eight year anniversary of Jump Rope Dudes. And like I said, although I was skipping a lot and still doing my push ups and, and walking sometimes, you know, seven or eight miles a day, I was definitely not paying attention to how many calories I was consuming. I was eating everything possible in Spain. So good, dude. I was also drinking a little bit more booze, eating desserts, and just, yeah, not really paying attention to my calories. I also want to say that I got up to 219 pounds on the scale, but that was at the end of the day after eating the entire day. So maybe in the morning I would have been like 211 pounds or whatever, but for the purpose of this video, I just wanna go based off of that number that was on the scale at 219. But just know that the human body can lose, like I personally, I can gain or lose anywhere from seven to 10 pounds in a single day, because most of that is just water weight, sweating, how much food you're eating or not eating. Nonetheless, I was still pretty disappointed in myself. Like I was still looking at myself like, yeah, at certain angles or times of the day, you can't really tell that I gained any weight and I feel like I, I hide it pretty well. Plus I don't really, I still look very fit at 220 pounds, but I personally knew that I was consuming too much. And I had one of those moments where I was like, Dan, you got to check yourself, bro. Like this is your eight year anniversary of jump rope dudes. And you're weighing a lot more than you usually do. Like, what's the reason for that? Like, so I guess in one way, I wasn't beating myself up that I gained all the weight. I wasn't surprised that I gained because I wasn't really paying attention to what I was eating. But I did have that moment where I was like, no, this isn't how we usually operate, Dan Whitmer. We got to we gotta get back to where we normally feel good around the 190 to 200 pound mark. And so here's everything I did to get down relatively fast, but like I said, in a safe way. So first off, jump rope workouts. It's the same answer that we give in all of our videos. I just do 30 to 40 minute jump rope workouts, usually 30 seconds of, of intense jump rope and then 10 seconds rest. And I just repeat that for 30 to 40 minutes. And I do that five to six times per week. So just from doing those workouts, I'm able to burn a ton of calories, which there's a lot of other stuff that played a role in me being able to lose all this weight, but consistently burning that many calories every day will certainly help you out. And don't forget guys, if you want what I would consider the best jump rope for fitness and weight loss, it's linked up. It's flashing up on the screen here. You guys already know the code that we give for, you know, getting that. But if you're someone who's really trying to get super intense workouts and lose a lot of weight, burn a lot of calories, I would definitely recommend checking out the cross ropes because I just think they're the best. Now, in addition to the jumping rope to lose all this weight, body weight exercises. I've started recently just going crazy with pull-ups. I started doing dead hangs because I was trying to get rid of shoulder injuries. My shoulders sometimes get injured because of paddling so much for surfing and all of the super intense just weighted jump rope workouts. And I was having some issues from time to time with my shoulders. So I started doing dead hangs and then dead hangs led me into just getting even deeper into pull-ups and realizing like, oh, I want to be able to do, you know, like 10, 15, 20 pull-ups at a time. Like, let's see if I can really build even more muscle mass just by doing pull-ups. So that's kind of a random side note that I'll make more videos on, but pretty much very obsessed with doing pull-ups all the time now. So I don't know why. I mean, I, I know a little bit why, but whenever I'm doing a lot of pull-ups, my ability to lose weight and especially body fat is it's just a lot easier and I feel like my physique is just more aesthetically pleasing to my eye when I'm doing a lot of pull-ups. Next thing, diet. If you haven't checked out our diet, our recent diet video, go check it out. It's basically my exact roadmap for how I eat to stay super lean. It's not hard and honestly, it's really delicious. Like I eat a ton of steak, ground beef, eggs, 
sometimes bacon, butter, a lot of fruits, nuts, salmon. Basically, I just eat real food and I just avoid lots of highly processed sugars and carbs. And of course, as you can guess, I wasn't counting my calories to lose all the weight, but I was just eating less. You know, like I, I realized, look, if I want to lose weight, I have to eat less. I know some people want to argue about this, like, oh, it's not just about calories in, calories out. Yeah, it pretty much, it pretty much is. If you are not losing weight, chances are it's because you are not paying attention enough to how much you're eating. It's plain and simple. And also, like I said, I've kind of cut out completely cheat meals and desserts. So when I gained all that weight, I was over in Spain eating cheesecake and chocolate and all kinds of little goodies. And then that's not usually what I eat though. So as soon as I got home, I just got back onto my regular routine. No cheat meals, no desserts. Like my dessert is basically frozen mango or like a bowl of fruit with some whipped cream on it. So that obviously helped me lose that weight as well. I just wanted to make you aware that we just released a new PDF called The Only 10 Things That Matter for Weight Loss. It's a cool little, little fancy PDF that you can just put your email in. The link's right here. You can download it. You can put it on your wall or, you know, print it out, frame it, whatever. And it's free, by the way. But the reason I wanted to make that was because we also made a YouTube video called The Only 10 Things That Matter for Weight Loss. And it's basically a checklist of the most basic but effective things that matter when it comes to weight loss and health and fitness. It's kind of my little like Bible or check-in guide when I'm going through what I need to do to maintain a lean physique. So check that out and I uh, hope you enjoy it. I didn't cut out alcohol completely. I'm still having some beers and cocktails, you know, as, as I want to. I don't think drinking alcohol is a good thing for your body, but also I don't think that it's gonna totally destroy your ability to lose weight as long as you're doing it in moderation and you're not you know, having a couple drinks than eating an entire pizza. So those are the tangible things that I've been doing to lose that weight. But you guys already know that. Like you've, I talk about these same things in every video. My diet and my routine and the way I work out has not changed in a lot of years. Like I still do the same things to feel like I'm progressing, not just in getting a better physique, but also in performance. Those are the actual things that I did to get, I'm probably like one 195 pounds right now. I'm down in Mexico and I've been surfing and jumping a lot of rope. And to be honest with you, I'm probably gonna go home at like 190 pounds. So by the time this video comes out, I will have lost a total of like 30 pounds since October. But one thing that I don't always talk about is the level of patience that is required to do this. When I, when I was sitting at 219, I was definitely disappointed in myself and like, hey man, you shouldn't be getting up to this kind of weight. Like you should, you know, stay a lot leaner and whatnot because, you know, I run jump rope dudes and I wanna just set a good example. Although I'm not perfect, I try my best to set a good example so that you guys can get realistic, attainable results. So instead of what I could have done is just freaked out and be like, oh my God, I'm 219 pounds. I'm not going to eat anything for the next week. And I'm just going to drink water and I'm going to jump rope for two hours a day. That is not going to work. Like my mentality when I got up to 219 was literally like, okay, nothing's changing. I'm working out the same. I'm working out with the same intensity. I'm doing the same kinds of body weight exercises. I'm trying to get my 10K steps in. I'm doing all my jump rope workouts. So none of that changed. The only thing that changed was getting super particular with my diet. And I just want to stress that enough. Like if you are already training super hard, most of the time the weight you have to lose is just paying more attention to the food that you're eating. So instead of freaking out and thinking that you're going to lose 30 pounds in a week or two, I just got back on track with my diet and told myself, okay, I'm 219 right now, but over the next couple weeks, I can probably get back down to like 200 and then the next couple weeks after that I can probably get back down to 190 if I just stick to these rules with my diet that I've been to, that I shared in this video and do it gradually if you try to do it drastically and just completely cut out your calories you're gonna feel terrible or you're gonna lose a lot of weight initially and then you're gonna yeah you're gonna feel terrible you're gonna gain it all back and then you're gonna be in that cycle that roller coaster of losing and gaining weight so I guess what I mean is as soon as I got up to 219 I was like okay I'm gonna allow myself two to three months to lose this 30 pounds in the best way possible and still be able to surf and do all my workouts and feel good throughout the day. Another thing that I'm gonna be open about and I'm not, you know, this this is depth, me losing 30 pounds is definitely easier for me than some of you watching this video. And I say that because I've been training pretty intensely since I was like 13 years old. So my body at this point is very used to gaining a lot of 
fat and muscle very quickly, but then also losing it very quickly because I do have a very highly functioning metabolism and I've just been doing this for so long. So if you're someone who is just starting and you have 30 pounds to lose, this might be, it might take you more time. You have to be more patient. Now that doesn't change the, the advice I'm giving you on what you should do is still the same, but I'm also not trying to sit here and be like, oh yeah, losing 20 to 30 pounds in a couple weeks is super easy for everyone. Like everyone's body is really different. And also because I'm a bigger guy, I'm, a, I'm 6'3", I think that's like 190, 191 centimeters. And I weigh around usually 190 to 200 pounds. Because I'm bigger, losing 30 pounds is a lot easier for me to do than someone who weighs 150 pounds. And lastly, like I said, I'm in Mexico right now and it is super hot down here. I've been surfing like crazy, jumping rope, go, like walking up hills, all this kind of stuff. So I'll probably go home and weigh somewhere in the range of 190, maybe 185. It's also really healthy to realize that you are never gonna stay the same weight or body fat percentage. As long as you can have a good range that you live in and you feel confident in, that's the overall goal. Like if I get down to 185, I'm gonna start to get too lean and I might go home being like, oh man, I actually need to gain some weight because this is not, like I just don't feel good. Like I, I feel like I need more food to perform at a higher level. So the overall goal is find a, a weight range that you feel good about and you know try to stay within that range. Now, sometimes you're gonna go on trips or you're gonna have things that pop up and you're gonna gain a little bit of weight, but just know once you start to get above your comfortable range, just know that it's time to dial, dial things in a little bit. Maybe for a couple of weeks, be super strict with your diet, be more intense with your workouts, but just know like that's the game of fitness. You're never gonna hit some point where your body's like, okay, I've, I'm perfect. I'm going to stay this way. It's about developing a lifestyle that you can maintain this healthy range of weight. You can look good, feel good, but also knowing how to get yourself out of these times when you might gain a little bit more weight than you want to. Anyway, that's my story. Weight loss is a journey, guys. It's something that you really do need to make a lifestyle. So here at Jump Rope Dudes, we try and do the best possible job of that we can. And that's why I'm also just sharing this experience with you because I want you to hopefully take what I'm saying and relate to it and possibly apply it to your own life. If you guys have any comments or questions, please let me know below. Um, always appreciate the support on this channel and we'll see you guys in the next video.